Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Ribworld, this time the Alpha 7, version C. So let's dive in and create a new colony. We're going to play on Randy Random for funsies. We'll play on regular challenge mode, 100% normal difficulty. And we'll select our world here. So a lot has changed since Alpha 6. I believe there's a new biome available, the Rainforest. We could try that, Tropical Rainforest. Why not? So we're allowed to embark in these locations now. You can also see former embark locations. I played this on Twitch a bit the other day. Got an enemy town there, the Cutters of Suffering, a pirate band. So let's go ahead and settle near them. Hopefully they'll come and explore and we can have some fun with them. We will build on uh, flat terrain, sure. And then um, let's actually make the embark area a little bit large, a little bit larger than normal. Not too big, but a little bit bigger. Now, I do have two mods installed, one which gives a slightly improved interface setup, and a second which gives you the ability to prepare carefully, which is a really cool feature. It lets you, um, it's basically like Dwarf Fortress, where you can, you can choose your characters specifically, you can change their stats, you can bring different gear, all that stuff, um, and you can also kind of set up what kind of gear that you're going to bring. And normally, I would, I would maybe consider messing with it, but for now, I think I'd just rather dive right in and uh, just do some randomization. So we'll just um, we'll just let it be whatever it is, you know. We'll figure out. I don't want to try to pick like a specific type of character. Wow, this person's really good at research. We don't want that. Okay, we're we're gonna randomize that guy away. Research is fine, but hey, a psychopath named By Brian. That's awesome. Now a lot of people are probably gonna be wondering why I'm not gonna use Kevin, but um, we need to we need to just have some new traits, some new characters. So we got Meowski, we got Brian, and Pro Procene. I don't know if I can... An industrious, trigger-happy man. Not a lot of, um... Not a lot of passion in this group. But that's okay. I like that we have a psychopath and a, and a trigger-happy person. Psychopathic hard worker. What is psychopath? No empathy. The suffering of others doesn't bother him at all. He doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, imprisoned, or sold into slavery. <laughs> that's awesome. He's also passionate about socializing, but he gets no bonus from socializing. That's pretty sweet. All right, so yeah, let's give it a go. Uh, we'll start. So let's take a look at some of the new features that are in this version of the game. We have lots of additional animals. We've got boars. We've got, um, let's see, what else is it? What else is new that I've seen on the map? Uh, of course, now we're not gonna find any more animals. Murphy's Law for you. Well, let's just worry about it when we get there. So we got a whole bunch of boars. That's kind of cool. Boars provide meat and also new into the game now is uh, leather. When you kill one of these things, you get 63 meat and then you'll also get some leather. Um, this is part of the interface mod that I installed. It uh, lives you it has little icons for each of your characters. You can click on them. You can double click to focus on them. It's really convenient. It also adds this colonist button, so that you can click on that and tab through your colonists. Instead of having to just use the uh, the comma and the period button to cycle through them, there's a button now too, which is kind of nice. It also adds a button here, so when you click on like a, a unit, you can just click that to hunt them. It's pretty cool. Alright, so what do we want to do? Who is our best shooter? Meowski. As far as your situation goes, you are a level 3 shooter. Level 1, level 3. Everyone sucks at shooting. Okay, well, let's pick up the pistols. Let's go ahead and unforbid all of our metal and stone. And silver. And the medicine and the prepared food things. Now, there's another feature here as well. You can actually sort your goods based on whether or not they are in a certain type of category. Let's see, what else is new? There's a lot more information about characters. If you go on their information tab, you can see their stats down to, you know, what their market value is, how fast they move. I noticed that some of the modifiers, some of the traits got nerfed. Like there used to be one that was like 20% move speed. Now that trait is like plus 0.16. So it's, it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. You can see all their modifiers to work speed. Unfortunately, when you try to use the mouse wheel to scroll this list, it zooms you in and out, which is kind of silly. Um, but you know, it's fine. Okay, what else is new? Um, we can build with the different material types. So if you if you have if you want to, you can make a, a wall out of silver. 
or you can just choose every single item has its own different types. You can also lock doors, which is pretty cool. So let's start off with just a basic place. Um, again, by no means am I an expert at this game, and I don't expect you to walk away like knowing everything there is to know about this game, but that's fine. I don't, I don't really need to be an expert at everything I play. Just most things, right? Besides, this game's a lot of fun. All right, need colonist beds. Indeed, we do. Let's go ahead and build a just a regular wall. Now, the metal wall, I, def, I haven't seen like a log wall. I don't know if that's just gone or, or what, but if we build a wooden wall, it doesn't transfer power. Build a wooden conduit wall, that actually takes a tiny bit of metal now too, where before it didn't used to. So that's okay. Now, I'm gonna do a very boring design, which is just something that I've gotten used to. I'm gonna build nine by nine rooms because I like them. Um, preferably away from all these rocks because we don't have to make them haul them, but I guess we can build them right here. So let's see, we'll go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I really hope that the uh, the people who make RimWorld will take my advice and add a uh, add something that I've seen in Prison Architect, where when you like drag like this, it should say one by ten or one by seven, you know, whatever it is. It'd be really convenient. Let's also build a wooden door. So I like nine by nine rooms because you can put a lamp right in the center and it, and it lights the whole room. So we're just gonna get that thing started and go from there. So Brian is apparently a woman. I had assumed that Brian was a male. That's kind of interesting. Brian the Inventor. Brian Berrios. No, it's a, it is a male. It just it looks female to me. Wow. Oh gosh, that's terrible. Feel bad for Brian. Let's build some wooden floors. Right out to about there. And let's order them to haul those rocks out, because they're going to slow things down if we leave them in there. We're going to want to probably get some food set up right away. Do we have anyone that is good at cooking stuff? I'm looking at, looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking for summary. Oh. No, I guess I am. I need to scroll through each person again. That's right. Okay. Just getting my games mixed up. Don't worry about me. So, okay, who is passionate about, like, cooking and stuff? Do we have any cooks? We don't, okay? For now, we'll just let the game kind of have them all do jobs. But we are going to probably specialize each individual person. Oh, you definitely need to haul these ones out of the doorway. I mean, come on now. Procene. What a weird nickname. You're a fat one, aren't you? Procene the barkeep. Jeez. She's a big lady. <laughs> She's gonna be... She probably needs to eat twice as often as most of our characters. Oh, there's the summary. There is one, okay. So that's fine. So Procene. She is a construction type person. She also likes growing and mining. So how about Procene can be our constructor miner. So we'll go ahead and have her... We'll go to manual priorities. Procene... You are a constructor miner. Now the colors matter in this. I just can't remember what they mean exactly. And then also these little, you can see little lines now that kind of indicate whether or not they have a fa uh, a focus or like a, a passion for it. That, I'm not sure if that's from the mod or the patch. I can't remember, but it's really nice. I like it. Makes the game easier to play. Need colonist beds. Well, they're gonna get tired soon. I don't know if we have time to build more beds, but for now, I guess we'll try. We'll just build some metal beds. No, I don't want to make a I don't want to make a metal bed. I want to make a wood bed. Are we totally out of wood. Of course we are. Let's chop some wood. We could just designate sleeping spots if we need to. Me Meowski. Meowski. It reminds me of Stormtroopers? Star Troopers, Stormtroop Troopers. Super Troopers. There we go. I knew I'd get it eventually. Alright, so we've got a tiny bit of wood. Let's see if we can designate those wooden beds now. Excellent. So let's get three wooden beds. Actually, you know what we'll do for now? They've got new they've got new colony optimism. 
Let's just put down some sleeping spots. Just sleep on the floor, it's fine. The, the new colony optimism overrides any penalties you're going to get for the first few days, so it doesn't matter. The only drawback to sleeping spots is they don't get a lot of rest. But I knew they were going to want to pass out soon anyway. So that's fine. Sleeping spot has a market value of zero. Hmm. Greatly expanded information about each item. Okay, wake up, you fatty. Brian, you woman-looking man. And Meowski, the cat. Crazy cat. Woman. She's a woman. I had to check. I wasn't sure. She's got a really weird shape to her. And this, so he's, it's a, it's a really skinny female looking man with a really fat woman and a really, is that a fat woman? Yeah, it is. And Meowski, the fat woman. Or sorry, the skinny weird hourglass. I guess she's got the hourglass kind of shape. Maybe that's supposed to be a good thing. All right, now we're going to get rid of these sleeping spots because I don't want them to sleep in them again. And we'll put down some wood beds. No, not there. We'll also throw down a lamp, even though we don't have any power yet. Do we have access to a nearby thermal thing? We do have a steam geyser. It's pretty close. Close enough to be defendable, I think. We'll use all of our metal. We have no stockpile. Why aren't they storing anything? Oh, that's right. I have a setting on in the... That would explain it. In the interface options, there's an option to disable all resources in new stockpiles. I forgot about that. So yes, we want to store resources here. It's quite useful when you want to make specialized stockpiles, but if you forget about it, then, well, it causes problems. And you can't see what your resources are if you don't actually have a stockpile. So we're going to go straight for the geothermal generator, because I think we have enough metal. And we'll just run a power conduit straight over. Actually, you know what? We're probably going to expand this house. That might not make sense. Let's actually do it one tile away. We don't have a break in the power supply, do we? Nice job, Brian. Need colonist beds. We need more wood is what we need. Building needs power. We have some berries. We could go hunting a bit. Here, let's let one person hunt a boar. So we would need a table. Meowski, don't go to sleep. Someone needs to finish that bed for this guy. Or for the fatty. Can she work on the bed? Yes, she can. Go work on the bed. Wow, you are slow. You really are slow. At least it feels slow. That's just mean. I'm just being mean. Now, there's something interesting about this. Notice how we've got them all in the same bedroom. And their thoughts, they're going to have this sharing bedroom minus eight, but they also have spacious interior since it's a nice big room. So it's kind of like a net net neutral, net negative three. Negative three is not going to piss anyone off. Plus, they're more likely to socialize if they're in the same space. So I kind of like the idea of doing community bedrooms. And we might kind of do that a bit more. Or I could, hypothetically, just give them nice little five by five beds. In the last series that I did, a lot of people wanted me to make it like a town with, um, you know, each each room having its own house. But to me, that just didn't seem very, very efficient. Seems like it would be a silly way to build. To me, that is. Can always use more wood. You sh certainly are shooting from far away. You shot a whole bunch of holes in the wall. You're going to shoot Brian. Did you stop it? Crazy woman. Crazy old cat lady. All right. How's the geothermal plant coming? It needs more metal. So yes, we can see the categories now. We have 10 meals. You can see what type of meals if you want. You don't have to use that. You can just disable it if you want to go back to the old way. But I kind of like having them organized. So we have 400 silver, 14 wood. We do not have enough metal to finish the geothermal plant. So we're going to have to do some mining. Looks like we've got some metal ore over here. Let's do a little bit of mining. Might be enough to get the power going. 
There's a monkey. It's a female monkey. It's important to know the gender of these monkeys from a distance. Hey, here's some metal. Let's go pick up that metal. That should work quite well. Here's some metal down here, too. And some silver. There's really no threat of anyone bad coming for a while, so we could just go and pick up these little bits of gear. Pro, pro, pro scene likes to mine. Gosh, she really is slow. I swear she's slower than everyone else. It feels like it. She's gotta be. Alright, so, okay, let's evaluate our people a little bit more. So, Meowski, the teacher, she has a passion for wardening and for researching. Let's just confirm that that's correct. Meowski has a passion for what? Doesn't look right at all. Wardening is social. Okay, yeah, you do have a passion for that. Melee is not going to show up on this list. Growing. Yes, I can see the little dash lines. Repairing, constructing. Okay, it does work. Apparently you have a passion for hunting. Relevant skills are shooting and melee. So because you have a passion for melee, that's showing up. Okay. Now, the, gr the yellow versus green... I'm not sure what that means. That's fine. We don't need to worry about it. So, okay, Meowski. I guess you're definitely going to prioritize wardening, because you are a social person. And when you're not doing that, you'll be a constructor grower. Constructor, grower, warden primary. Everything else, lowest priority. Okay, next character. We've got Brian Berrios. Brian the inventor. He's got a passion for mining. He'll be the miner in that case. He's also got a pretty strong passion for crafting. So he'll be our crafter miner. I think that's plenty of res uh, plenty of jobs for you. You also have quite a bit of construction and growing skill though, so we'll bump those up a bit. And then Procene the fatty, I mean the barkeep. We already talked to about her. She is fairly decent at growing. So we'll bump that up. But I want your primary job to be... Probably mining construction. Okay. So basically we have... Um, some pretty good construction. And pretty good mining with these three guys. So we'll probably try to try to do a lot of mining. And we'll sell the metal and we'll, we'll actually trade with some traders. But for now, I'm going to take a break. If you like seeing RimWorld on the channel, you want to see a daily video or see more than one a day, just let me know by liking the video, leave a comment, talk to me, that kind of thing. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.